everyone. Good morning from the Madison River. As you all know, these last couple of years, we've been getting really into the European style of nymphing here on the Madison. Found it to be super effective tactic. And we've gotten a lot of questions in the shop and online recently about getting started and basic rigging. So this morning I'm here with my friend Kurt Kruger. Kurt is the sales rep for Farbank, which is Sage, Rio, and Reddington. And he knows a lot about European style nymphing. So Kurt is going to give us a little rundown on what it takes to get started and how to set up your, your Euro nymph setup. Hello everyone. So what we're going to go through this morning is two different ways to get you on the water fishing your European style nymphing or Euro nymphing. So firstly, you can very inexpensively and very quickly get in the game of Euro nymphing with your standard rod, a nine foot five weight, a nine foot four weight, what have you, on a weight forward line. The way to accomplish this is purchase a Rio Euro Nymph Shorty. This is a 20 foot thin diameter Euro Nymph line. Take your standard tapered leader off of your weight forward line and loop on your 20 foot Euro Nymph Shorty. From there, we are going to attach via a loop loop connection a Rio Euro Nymph leader. What the Euro Nymph leader consists of is a nine foot milky white high vis material blood knotted to a 22 inch two-tone cider to a tippet ring so everything you need to do to get your system set is get the leader it's all there from the tippet ring we are now going to go to a full setup because from the tippet ring to the point fly on both of these, you're doing the exact same thing. On this rod, and this is a Sage ESN 3106 Euro Nymph rod, I've got the new Sage ESN reel on it that comes with interchangeable counterbalances, which is a really sharp, great idea. Now back to our tippet ring. From the tippet ring, I am going to take a five foot length of fluorocarbon. This is Rio Fluoroflex Plus, 5X. I'm gonna peel off five feet. I'm going to clinch knot it to my tippet ring. And then I am going to pull off approximately 30 inches of 6X. I am then going to surgeon's knot that 30 inch section up to the five foot section of 5x and I'm going to leave the bottom tag of 12 to 14 inches proud. The reason I'm going to leave that proud is is that's creating the tag for my top fly, the top fly of the system. From the surgeon's knot to the point fly you want to be 18 to 22 inches your point fly is always going to be heavier than your top fly. When you go into the shops to get yourself in this game and start purchasing the flies, you'll see that there's a myriad of different colors, Frenchies, Pertagons, different head colors, and also different weights. These are all tied on jig hooks. They're all barbless, and they come in different weights of tungsten. So to, you can accomplish having always a heavier fly is your point fly lighter up top and they're in different weights different millimeters 2.3 2.8 3.3 3.8 etc and that is the simplicity of the system the system is the same from your weight forward rod to the point fly or on a, on an actual euro nymphing weapon a rod built for the technique that's it for this morning thank you very much tight lines and be well.